Hello, hello, D Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. I want to do a quick little video today on how my Suzuki DR650 handles on the interstate. That's right. So I just cracked 600 miles on the bike. It is a 2023 DR650. She is now broken. So uh, I haven't been on the interstate yet, but I'm about to get the opportunity to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll the camera for the whole ride. I'm not going to be on the interstate for that long. Long enough to get an idea of how the bike handles. And uh, we'll just give real-time observations as that go along. The bike's stock right now, uh, as far as weight's concerned. The only thing I have on the bike, aside from the hand guards here, are just some, some armor. I've got uh, the T-Rex skid plate and crash guards on it. So maybe uh, weight-wise, I think the bike's probably at 380 pounds. Let's just say that. And of course, no windshield. So we're going to see how she handles. It's pretty breezy today. I don't know if you can see the flags here, but they're not quite standing up, but they're getting darn close. So we're going to have to deal with some wind on the interstate. Other than that, bike stock. I haven't done anything to exhaust or suspension or anything like that. So we're just going to see what happens. And I, I'm under the impression I'm probably going to get tossed around a little bit. Like I said, I'm figuring the bike probably weighs about 380 right now. So, I mean, it's kind of light on the interstate. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so I've had a, a few comments asking me how the bike is on the interstate, and I haven't been able to reply to those yet since I don't have any practical experience. But that's about to change. Um, I should also mention the stock seats on the bike, so I wouldn't exactly call this thing comfortable. I was hoping the seat would break in a little bit, you know, after a few hundred miles, but uh, no, it's it's a bottom beater for sure, so I'll be looking forward to switching this seat out. Other than that, all systems go, so I'll be getting on the interstate just a few more miles down the road, and we'll see what happens. Should be interesting. I don't really think I'm going to have a problem hitting 75 miles an hour or maintaining it. Because, as I've mentioned, there's nothing on the bike. I don't have any panniers or bags or anything sticking off the sides that could be in, you know, an air grabber. So, yeah, I'm a little curious. So, like I said, I just cracked the 600 mile mark. The bike is now broke in. And one of the first things I'm going to do is going to be in the shop next week doing the oil. There's a list of things the bike has to have done at the break in. I'll detail that in a following video but I'm getting the tires off what I'm riding right now are the stock tires are the Bridgestone trail wing 42s they're not for me so I want them off the bike ASAP but that's what I'm riding right now so uh, I will be switching to the Tusk D sports uh, they can handle just fine on the interstate and I'm sure the Bridgestones can as well all right winds gusting out here and I'm what a, just over 60 miles an hour and I'm getting pushed around a little bit. I'm not having to lean to the side to keep the bike up. The wind's not that strong yet, but uh, it could be different on the interstate. We'll see. All right. Interstate, here we come. Wind has definitely increased. A little more wide open out here. So, I think I'm just going to be into a pretty strong headwind. Uh, this guy coming on me? I think so. All right, here we go. Prepare to get knocked around. Now I'm just going to let the camera roll. I think my battery's getting low, so hopefully it lasts for the whole ride. Ooh, yeah, we got a little turbulence there. Uh, we'll let the big guy, okay, here we go. We're gonna get slapped around here. Well, no, not too bad. 
He wants to come over. Come on, big guy. I'm not going to fight you. There we go. There you go, buddy. Oh, hell of a minute. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Good, clean, fun. I'm not getting blown around as much as I thought I would, to be honest with you. Yeah, the bike's pretty stable. I'm catching some, and I can't, I can't get up to 75. It's, it's too congested right here with these rigs. But it's not bad at all. What am I maintaining? I'm, I'm right at 70. So I'm probably just under 70. That's what my speedometer's saying, 70. I'm probably just under that though. And uh, it's it's not bad at all. There's definitely some turbulence coming off the rig. I don't know if that's visible with the camera, but it's, it's twisting me a little bit. But the bike itself is quite stable. Much more stable than I anticipated it to be. Almost a 75 on the speedometer, and I'm not having any trouble maintaining that. I would prefer not to be behind the, the rig right here because of the wind turbulence, but nothing I can do about it. It's not bad at all. I'm happily surprised. Still maintaining 70. Can't really get to 75. Um, the wind's not battering me as bad as I thought it would. This is way worse on the Honda CRF 300, even with the windshield. I get tossed around like a potato chip on the interstate. I should also mention I got a duffel bag strapped down on the back of the bike and I suppose that's adding a little more weight to the bike. But let's just say under 400, 380 to 400 pounds. And it's pretty stable. This isn't bad at all. here. Still not bad. I don't know what, I'm at right up almost 75 on the speedometer now. There we go. I'll be getting off the interstate up here so I feel like I could continue riding like this for some distance. I wouldn't call it comfortable but uh, Overall, it's a lot more stable than I thought it would be. So that's, I'm, I'm happy, happy to experience that. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can pass this guy right here. All right, we're up to 80 now. about as far as I want to take it. I want to get off right up here, so. Uh, let's push this a little farther, not bad. 
Not bad, folks. The DR650 is hanging in there like a champ. Yeah, very nice. This will work. This will work just fine. I didn't get any wobble or anything. Aside from just the, the wind turbulence from that rig, the DR handled the interstate just fine. Like I said, I feel like I could continue on in relative comfort for, for some distance. Yeah, this wasn't bad at all. Fantastic. All right, there you have it, folks. Quick little interstate test on the DR650. This bike is bad to the bone. It just is. I absolutely love it. Folks, lots more content on the way. Stick with us. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously. We will see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.